What is going on guys? Randall 19 the man with the million. Back again with another daily video. How's everybody's Monday doing? Mine's not doing so well. It's snowing here in Chicago. Ten days till spring and it's snowing. Ugh. Anyways, let's get into this Rand's rant. It's going to be about PlayStation and the announcement that PlayStation 4 games and PlayStation 4 exclusives will be playable on your Windows PC. Stop the presses! This is madness! Right? You guys see the title. Do you need to own a PS4 now? Because I consider myself, even though I'm a fanboy, and I play Xbox exclusively with plans to get a PlayStation. A lot of people in my comments for the videos I do always say, why do you play an Xbox? Why do you play an Xbox? Get a PC, it's better. Deadbox, Drybox, all that nonsense, right? And I play on what I like. And usually people tell me to get a PlayStation for the exclusives. Oh, you gotta play Horizon Zero Dawn, Ran. Oh, you gotta play. You gotta play Uncharted. You gotta play Last of Us. You gotta. You gotta get the system for Spider Man and all that stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I will. Don't worry about it. You know, when it reaches the price that I'm willing enough to pay, then I'll get it. But the news broke today. Oh wait, you can just play those exclusives on PC with PlayStation Now. No need to get a PlayStation Four. Hallelujah. Now this, you know, Sony just saved me $300. I don't need to get a PlayStation 4. I can just play it on PC. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sony, for letting me play your games on PC. Now it seems like the best way to play every game is on PC because you can play Xbox games, you can now play PlayStation games, and you can play PC games. It's the best of both worlds. Eh, wrong. I'm not a PC gamer. So the question that comes to is, do you need still need to own a PS4? Yeah, I, I, I would rather play on PlayStation than PC. See, the thing is, some of the fanboys out there are getting a taste of their own medicine. When you go around saying that you don't need an Xbox because those games are on Windows 10, but then suddenly the console you fight for decides it's in their best interest to put their games on PC as well, oh, well... Now that argument is flung back in your face. Now people can say to you, what's the point of owning a PlayStation 4 if I can just play those games on PC? And it's been interesting to watch on Twitter today, guys. It's really been interesting. The back and forth. What the definition of a quote-unquote true exclusive is, right? Because there are people that are like, well, well, it's not, it's not run natively on the PC, so that means it's, it's still exclusive. Well, well, it's not day and day. It's not day and date with the PlayStation version, so it's still exclusive. Everybody's going over mental gymnastics to explain why you still need to get a PlayStation 4. And it's like, look. And I know the title in this video is a little clickbaity. I'm having a lot of fun with this video, guys, if you listen to it, right? Um, people play on whatever they want to play on, dude. I play an Xbox because I like the controller, I like the ecosystem, my friends are there. I like a lot. I like everything about Xbox for the most part. Yeah, I think it needs some more games and more studios to make some stuff. But I'm happy with my purchase and I like playing on it even if I know someone out there is playing on Windows 10 with the better version of the game. Eh. And if given the opportunity between PlayStation 4 and, you know, gaming on PC with those exclusives, I'd rather play on PlayStation 4. I just don't want a game on PC. And a lot of people probably feel the same as me. So that's why Sony's done it. That's why Microsoft put those games on Windows 10. There's not... It's what I've been saying for a long time. There's not a lot of crossover between strictly console gamers and PC gamers. Both of these companies are out there to make buck. Xbox has their Xbox Play Anywhere program. Where if you happen to be on PC and you have no intentions of ever getting a, a, a console, then you can get those games if you want. Same thing with PlayStation, guys. There are PlayStation, there are there are PC gamers out there who will never get a PlayStation. But now they have an opportunity to subscribe to PlayStation Now and maybe play some of those games and give Sony money. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day, is money. But it's it's interesting. I it, The people on NeoGAF, the people on Twitter... Some of these people are going through, like, trying to justify why you can't, you know, why these games are still true exclusives, even though they use the same argument against Xbox fans. And look, you come into my comments, and you're respectful and stuff, I read it, and, you know, I, I, I appreciate that, I really do. 
Um, but if you come in my comments and you're just talking trash nonstop all the time, like hashtag dry box, dead box, all that stuff. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, like you, you can go screw yourself. I hate that stuff. I've never advocated for any of that stuff. Like I can, I can admit I, I love my fanboy, but like, even with this, I still want a PlayStation four. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go out there and tell anybody not to get a PlayStation four because you can get it on PC. People will play where they want to play, right? But it's funny seeing people, you know, bend the rules and try to say why, you know, they, they're trying to defend Sony in a way that they wouldn't defend Microsoft. Even people that are quote unquote, those dirty neutrals, those dirty neutrals guys got to watch out for them, but they're always the ones that kind of are putting down Microsoft praising sony and then today oh they're out in force they're out in force out there trying to de- trying to defend it and saying well you know it's it these are still exclusives to playstation guys don't give up the fight fight harder don't don't give in they're still exclusive it's like dude calm the fuck down man it's just video games at the end of the day it's just entertainment i make these videos so hopefully you guys can maybe learn something you didn't know but mostly because I want you, I want to entertain you guys. Hopefully you're entertained. Hopefully you find some value in what I'm saying. It's just my perspective, right? And I'm having definitely fun with this. It is insane seeing people who would talk shit about Microsoft and their policies and then try to defend this one. Like seriously, I've seen, this is no joke, I've seen this one. It's not native on the PC, so it's still exclusive. Like Really? Really? <laughs> It's not native on the PC. And granted, it is PlayStation Now. So let me reiterate. So, and the move that basically surprised no one since they, this is where it was going. They removed the PlayStation uh, Now service from PS3, Samsung and stuff. You can only get it on PS4. And Samsung, Sony's allowing PlayStation 4 games along with PlayStation 4 exclusives to be on the PC and PlayStation 4. And some of these fanboys are losing their damn minds. They can't handle this. Why would you do this, Sony? Why would you do this? The exclusives are what sets you apart from Microsoft. Eh. That's what I, one of the other things I've been saying for a long time. If you've been listening to me on TXR Podcasts or even my own videos. Exclusives don't matter as much as you think they do. They're no longer the breadwinners. They no longer sell as much. What matters are the multi-platforms. It's one of the reasons Xbox Scorpio comes is coming out soon, and it's going to be extremely powerful, and it's going to run virtually either every single game better or the same as the PlayStation version. Multiplats are king. Yeah, I know Horizon Zero Dawn is great. It's got an ADA and a Metacritic. It's the best-selling new IP launch for Sony this gen. But at the end of the day, it's not going to sell as much as Ghost Recon Wildlands or Call of Duty or Battlefield or Overwatch or any of the myriad of other third-party AAA games that are out there that people buy consoles for. And obviously Sony agrees because they're about to put their games on Windows 10 and PC to let people play those. So what does that say to you? Well, Rand, to me it says that they just want to make more money. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. It's a business. They want to make more money. They know there's people out there that never get a PlayStation 4, that game on PC, that might drop $20 on a subscription to play Horizon Zero Dawn or any of those other games that are out there. They're a business at the end of the day. They obviously feel that putting PlayStation games on Windows 10 won't affect their bottom line at all, just like it doesn't really affect Xboxes either. You all saw it when Xbox One S came out after they announced Xbox Play Anywhere. Sales shot up through the roof. Just like when Scorpio comes out, I'm assuming it'll be the same. A lot of people assume that people put too much like emphasis on exclusives. I'm not saying exclusives don't matter to fill out a library. I'm saying the people buying consoles right now don't particularly care for exclusives because if they did, they would own the console already. Ah. <sighs> Guys, I just want people to think logically. I just want people to be entertained, right? And I w- <laughs> just read Twitter. I mean, just read some of the stuff. There is a lot of back and forth going on there. And I know, I know, this. the title of this video is a little clickbaity. I wanted to get people in here to check out the video because I thought it was going to be a pretty funny video. But at the end of the day, 
I'll answer the question yet again. Do you still need to own a PS4? Do you need to own a PS4? Yes. Yes, in my case, yes. I almost bought a PS4 last week, but I held off on it. And if I'm not going to E3, I will be buying a PS4 instead. That's what's happening. And I hope someone's probably going to come and be like, you're lying, you're lying. No, I'm not lying. I want a PlayStation. I've wanted one for a while. Now it's finally gotten into enough games where I can justify the cost of myself for a system I'll barely use. But I want one. And even with the, 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 you know, the idea, and I have a PC, but even with the idea that I can play those exclusives without needing any extra hardware, I don't want a game on PC. I would much rather spend the $200 and buy a PlayStation and play those games than play it on my PC. So the, I'm gonna, like I said, that's the answer to my own question. Of course you still need a PlayStation. Of course you still need an Xbox. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure other people out there have different ones. But that's just me. That is just me. Oh, guys, but seriously, go out there and check out. But it doesn't run natively. It's not day and date, so it doesn't matter. Oh, man, the crying is unreal right now on Twitter, guys. It's great, though. It's great. It's 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 amazing. I, I love I love when you can see hypocrisy in the you know in the afternoon, right? Thank you, Sony, for showing people's true colors during this thing. So to reiterate, I'm gonna get a PlayStation. I don't care that it's coming to PC. Other people probably don't give a shit. Fanboys are losing their minds. So it's a good day. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you were entertained. Let me know what you think about PlayStation Now, the PlayStation 4 exclusives coming to windows pc let me know what you think i'm interested and of course if it's a good comment i'll read it and if it's a shit comment well you're a shitty poster so if you like the video hit that like button consider subscribing for more content and i'll see everybody later